step. Chris, in the men's technical program this year, among the eight required elements, there must be two flying spins. The interesting thing about these spins is that once the skater is in the air, his actual flying position must be different with each spin. No one has yet attempted to fly in anything other than a sit position or a camel position. The important thing to watch is the actual position in the air. In the sit, ensure one leg is tucked neatly underneath with the other properly outstretched. It is not as good if it is a half-hearted sit with no effort made to pull the legs close up to the body. For the camel fly in the air, look for the body to be in a fully extended horizontal position. The best ones will have the free leg as high or higher than the head. The poorer ones will not even reach a horizontal position. If the proper fly is not achieved, there will be a point 0.1 to point 0.3 deduction from the required elements mark. The landing position in both spins can be the same as or different from the fly position. If you fly in a sit, you can land in a sit position. Or land in a camel position, which is more unusual and not often done. If you fly in a camel position, it is common to land in either a back camel spin, or in what we call a death drop, being a back sit position. Done well with a good fly, this spin can be quite spectacular. In one of these spins, all you need is six rotations in the landing position and you're done. In the other spin, you need a total of ten rotations and you must change position once and change feet at least once. The quality of the fly is important, but so is the quality of the landing position, the speed of the spin and whether or not it rotates on one spot. The spins are of equal importance to the jumps in the technical program and should not be overlooked. All right, thank you, Gene. Uh, interesting, Gene Semp just explaining about the eight required elements, two flying spins. It looked to me like you nailed them both. Yeah, I did. The first spin was the flying change sit. Landed it really well. Jumped forward, sit back. Camel went really well. The second spin was a death drop. I went up, landed, centered, and everything went well. I was happy with both spins. Your first appearance on the world stage, you're from Toronto, training in Edmonton. You appear remarkably relaxed. I'm just taking it all in and enjoying myself as much as possible. All right, good luck in the final event tomorrow night. Thanks a lot, Brian. Marcus Christensen, stay with us. Still to come in the men's technical program here tonight from the Sport Hall in Prague, the Czech Republic. More of the technical program. And up next, it's Richmond Hill, Ontario's Elvis Stoiko as we continue with the night.